you have probably seen a lot of different sheep farm designs. But today we are going to build one I think I can guarantee you have never seen. And of course, relax along the way. Welcome to the All I Never Did Single Play World, a place where we relax and learn how to become better Minecrafters. Today I thought we should build the sheep farm that you see there behind me. There are many great tutorials on the internet, but I saw one by Marlow where he uses uh, chalker boxes for the collection system which I thought was genius, because then you can color code them after the color of the wool, you know? I will link that tutorial in the description, but we will modify it a bit, because I am one of the people that enjoy player interaction, so it will not be fully automatic, and we will also add a twist to it, hopefully. So, let's see what we have here. I've prepared most of it, I think. Uh, dice. We have concrete. Uh, yeah, I've only started to make the glass, the, the colored glass. Let's see, let's make the rest here. This is so nice with the recipe book. Very easy nowadays. We might need some more regular glass, actually, which will be provided by Fedas. <laughs> Let's take four stacks. And we need some grass. Hey, Skalman. And redstone. Let's see. Droppers. No, we need dispensers and yeah, let's start building maybe and uh, worry about the redstone later. Let's actually make the dispensers right away. Bone jelly. So for that, if we should make a stack, also for future projects, we need three stacks. Stacks, right, of string, and then redstone dust and cobblestone, so we can go down into the mine shaft. <laughs> I still love this mine cart that is going under here and triggering the lamps. I think that brings so much atmosphere. <laughs> Let's see. There's enough with one stack of redstone. We will need a lot of cobblestone. And we'll make some sticks. Alright. Uh, hmm. How do we... If we press Q... Wait. Oh! Like this. Great. So I'm just pressing... Actually, I've changed the... The control to V instead of Q. Uh, it's because I'm a Mac owner. Don't ask. And because they are lying here now... Let's see, have we a dispenser on the... Okay, so... And... No. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So we can't make a whole stack. Maybe this is the fastest way. 
So while you're at it, it's uh, just as well to do a whole stack at the time. And we have to be fast because they will <laughs> despawn after a while, right? Oh, we're out of what? Bows? What happened? Oh, okay, we were too far away. <laughs> Good. Let's continue. Great! And there's the minecart. Don't you love it? By the way, I think the farmer is still alive here. He has kind of taken position up up there now. <laughs> I guess he accidentally climbed up through the vines and now he can't see a way down so he just stands there all day. Poor thing. So maybe let's start with uh, light blue just to start somewhere and to see um, how far this way we want to farm and uh, how high and uh, and so on let's see grass dispensers and yeah because um, <laughs> we went into the end for the first time last time it would feel kind of strange to you know once we start collecting chalker chalkers and make chalker boxes that we you know, waste them on this farm, the first thing we do. So maybe we'll, we'll start with barrels. What is the recipe now again? Yeah, let's start with barrels and once we get uh, more chalker boxes we can re replace them with uh, those. So let's say the sheep is standing exactly where the, the concrete block is. Then it will be a dispenser there, a hopper minecart under here, the, a hopper that will connect to the barrel here, like a so, maybe concrete blocks like that, blue stained glass, uh, we need regular Ooh, made it regular glass as well. We also actually need a dispenser in the back here. <laughs> okay, I've probably put it on the thumbnail anyway, but I want to have a firework in the same color shoot out every time a sheep is uh, sheared. <laughs> So if we have a redstone line going here, maybe, there will not be much grass left, but because we don't need the farm to work very fast, maybe it's enough with these connecting grass blocks. We have redstone that will trigger both this dispenser, which will shear the sheep, and a dispenser that will shoot a firework <laughs> rocket. Ah, uh, maybe. But let's see how it looks. Alright. We can also, of course, hide the grass blocks because they are not pretty, are they? And the sheep will, of course, be inside of there. Should we have it more this way? Oh, rain! This is very unusual for this world. Let's see if we can see some, some snow before we go to sleep. I love snow in Minecraft, because, but because I sleep all the time, I seldom see it. Oh, there we have just a stripe of snow. <laughs> the rest is rain. 
pretty nice. Maybe it will look nicer actually to have the farm a few more blocks towards the spawn area. Uh, because otherwise this ledge will just look as if it's part of the mountain. I think if we have it a couple of more blocks this way, you will see that it is a man-made construction more clearly. Okay, I think this is a good placement. I'm not overly fond of the stripped log there. I do like the dark oak planks, so we might switch them out. But uh, let's get some sheep in there and uh, try out the redstone. This will be interesting. <laughs> okay, let's get some of you out. And can we close it up? <laughs> Probably not. Oh, what am I doing with the lead? I guess I have leached one of them. Can we do this? Oh yes! I'm a shepherd master. Uh, let's go of the lead. I guess that went inside of the barrel then. Very good. Next. Oh yes. <laughs> this is actually easier than I thought. You will be cyan. You will be light blue. Are they the same color as the concrete? Well, close enough, I guess. Oh yes. And... So... Uh, if we have repeaters going into the blocks here, here and here, we put dispensers here, he no, here, here and there. Let's see, do we have shears in the dispensers? We do. Now we do. Uh, let's make some fire, fire rockets, fire, what do you call them? And we should have a big storage of uh, gunpowder here. Okay, it's no recipe for them, it looks like, but if we do like this... Oh, it's only one per die? It's a bit more expensive than I thought. Can you combine it with fireworks? No, you have to kind of make them from scratch. Oh, so you don't need a crafting table to make these. Um, six, nine. All right, so now we have 24. That's a good start. No, I made two batches of lime. Idiot. Everything is fine. Let's put in the firework rockets. Let's maybe have a delay of four ticks between them. It will give a nicer effect, I think. We'll run a line of redstone dust here temporarily so we can watch. Let's see if this works. <laughs> All right, so the height is a little bit random. That's cool. Let's see the barrels here. Great. And... Yeah, I think... I think we'll go with this and just build the rest then. Who Kaja! I mean Kaja!
Let's take a short break. I need a change of scenery. And I guess you are getting tired of hearing the spawn music over and over, right? Oh, look! The water rabbit is out of the water. Good job. So this is where I get my sand. And I also have kind of a landscape. Oh, let's get up to, to see properly. I'm also leveling out the sand to this level all over. So this was all sandstone mountains here. And over here you can see I shaved it off. I think it would look really nice when it's all just sand plains here. And here is the bamboo farm that we built recently. So I thought we could put this uh, system, the smelter, into test. Uh, because we switched over to bamboo, and uh, the bamboo as a fuel drains so quickly, we need a big buffer. And we have that now. All these hoppers are filled. It first fills up this row of hoppers that goes into the furnace and then from this way all the hoppers here and then when the hoppers are filled this chest starts to fill as well and if the chest should fill we have two or three hoppers more of buffer. Let's smelt eight stacks of sand into glass and see how much it drains the system. Oh yes. Yeah. I think the chest will empty, actually. Because for every sand block you need four bamboo to smelt it completely. And while we wait we can watch the bamboo farm in action. It's kind of relaxing. Almost done. No. Okay, eight more, and they <laughs> they always get stuck. You have to kind of reboot the system, and then the last eight uh, blocks of what you are smelting will get through. So there are all eight stacks, and yeah, the system handled it splendidly. So let's take these, and I think Fedas has some room. <laughs> uh, we'll put the rest in here, and continue building. So I realized we probably don't want the fireworks to go off every time we shear a sheep. Uh, we want to be able to toggle it, right? So instead of having the dispensers connecting to the same block, we could have a line of sticky pistons and some sort of block that only powers the dispensers when we want them to. If you have sticky pistons here, and then blocks on top. That's not the right color. Now this is why we love middle clicking. Boop. Oh yes. And we put repeaters here. So when the blocks are like this, it won't power the dispensers, right? This is how you see I'm still a redstone noob. <laughs> because uh, if it, a line goes under here, will it still power the piston? Oh. Alright, it powered the next one because
Yeah, okay, it powered the block underneath. Okay, let's try it. The blocks are up, so now it should be fireworks. There we go. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> the redstone line is too long here. We needed one more repeater. Okay, but uh, yeah, that worked. And now... We turn them off. Now it should be only the shears. Nice. Yeah, let's do it uh, this way. It seems like the outcast farmer actually managed to escape the ocelot pen over there. So now he's kind of aimlessly wandering around the spawn area. Sometimes he stands here, looking longingly into the other real professional wheat farmers. So I think I've built the whole sheep farm up there. Everything is installed and functioning. And now I'm trying to figure out where to operate it from. I brought some stuff that I think could look nice. If we put one lamp here, one here, and a spruce or dark oak, what's better? Then maybe item frames here, so we know which device is which. Ooh, wait, we must check that the lamp actually leads the power. If we put dust here, yes, it's powered. Great. And a button here for the wool shearing. And spruce trapdoors, maybe? The path goes here. Um, and I, I'm imagining some kind of bridge up to this area. We have the slime farm over there. And then we'll build this way later as well. Does it feel strange to have the control panel this way? I, th I think that could work, right? We'll just extend the path this way. All right, so now we need to connect the redstone from here. up to there. All right, last bit of redstone here. Ooh, I can kind of feel the lag. <laughs> Maybe not the smartest idea to add more redstone dust and uh, lighting updates and whatever it is in the spawn area, but yeah, we need this. We need this. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Uh, I just made a fast path here. Let's try it out. So we'll activate the fireworks. Let's see if we can go into F1 mode. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And you could see the wool being shaved off uh, the sheep, one after another. <laughs> one thing I had been thinking about was if we should name the sheep Jeb, so they are constantly sparkling here, you know. But I'm not sure. It is kind of nice having them the natural colors as well. Actually, I'll put up a pole in the right hand corner. Do you think we should name the sheep Jeb or not? But I hope you feel relaxed. Thank you for being with me in this episode of All I Never Did. And uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>